Six or ten from the field in this ball game. Cousins with a screen on run. Now here's Vasquez. He's covered by Rondo. And the layup falls. Vasquez has got his second best. You know, size wise, this is not a great one on one matchup for him, but he got that shot to go. But you wouldn't know about how he finished. So that's a nice hoop there. Now, here's the two. He had 13 points in the win against the Lakers. A winning dishes to a two. Thunder. He feeds it to Max. He's guarded by a Mahamute. They get it back. A two. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second half. I tell you what, the defender didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. To the paint. Here's Salmons. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Salmons got seven points in the game. Over the course of the last ten games, leaves the big man of the NBA's best of the curious run. Well, you take a look at Mads, the best in the NBA. You put him on the line, that's nearly automatic. And those numbers at the foul line, you can speak trying to get there as often as possible. Operating along the big bodies in the paint, so he gets those chances. Well, it works two ways. I mean, he's very physical, understands how to draw fouls, but he's lethal once he gets to the line. But if you're defending him, you've got to really watch how you find the up on him so you don't send him to the line. Here's Thunder after the main shot from Salmons. And Mass kicks to the two. That went off the back end in and out. You talk about some of the breakout players of last season. And the top of the list for me is Grievous Vasquez, runner up for most improved player. 6'6 point guard, improved his shooting significantly and played with a lot of confidence for New Orleans. Now, here's Salmons. And it goes for two, but able to get his shot to go. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. Uh, Three-point play chance here. And John Selman's to the line. 